teach you conceptually emotion, then you can work on your own techniques and make it fit yourself. So the first thing we're going to work on is head and neck manipulation. Okay? So where the hair goes, the head goes. Where the head goes, the body follows. So he doesn't really matter where he throws. He throws a punch. Okay? And we're, we're working on neck and head. So I hit him in the neck, and that stuns him. And then I'm just going to start moving his head. And I want to follow where his head goes. I'm just going to follow it all the way down. So we're going to go on the outside and I'm just going to go right into it. How you get in doesn't matter, you can actually go in this way or whatever. But you're going to go in and just start. Okay. The only thing that I want absolutely every time, and you have to, you have to, have to become muscle memory, is when he goes down, your knee has to land in his ribs. It's absolutely mandatory. Technique is about following his motion 
and just looking at how his body reacts. When he goes like this, the energy gets to where this is maxed out, then it starts moving that, and then it's got to go to his body, right? And so then if you, if you say, well, I want the energy to go that way, then that's, what that's what we're looking at. So if you go the other direction, it's the same kind of thing. It starts to curl, and eventually the energy starts getting trapped there, so it starts to move down, and you move there, right? So it, and that's what we're looking at. It's just following the person's body motion, and you're getting used to how you can control and manipulate your body motion. Now we get to use rebounding in a more efficient way because our 
body is closer to that target. So if I, okay. That was familiar? Way out here. Mm -hmm. If I hit this guy, Oops. drop him, that's a different story, right? Give him a shot. Let him take it. And I'm, I'm just open hand, I'm gonna punch him. Give him a little bit of knuckles. He's gonna go. I'm gonna go down. Now think about I'm gonna rebound from here. Ooh! Use that to make yourself faster. Is that uh, Mr. Parker used to have a saying? He says when uh, when the line ends, a circle begins. And where a circle is, anytime a circle, a line can uh, emerge from. So what is this? A line. line. A line. So at the end of the line, what should I turn it into? A circle. Right. So that point that could be our ricochet. So when we block, when we hit, we don't want to go like a piston engine. There's a lot of physics there where you're thinking, okay, back and forth. It's actually slower than rolling the block. So say I hit this guy, his arm drops, perfect, right? I nailed it. And I go, I stand back up and do this thing. Why don't I just use that little angle I can get, dig it, and use that circle that I started. So really, you're kind of going line, circle, line, and rebounding on yourself to get there. Okay, so next topic. Um, elastic recoil. The same kind of tension happens when you stretch out that muscle. So if you, you're hitting somebody and you're allowing your body to maybe contract and expand, don't put an elastic recoil in with the strike hit, rebounding. Oh, now I'm starting to move in on them a little bit. I'm putting a little bit of a stretch right here on the shoulder. I'm also flexing kind of this area. You're not really helping it do it, but when you move it, you're allowing yourself to stretch these muscles out. Because our next strike is going right there, right? So what we want to do is create that rope band effect, and I'm going to pop that out. That allows you to go down much faster. It doesn't compromise your power. It doesn't compromise your movement. It allows you to internally create mass inside of that. Does that make sense? <laughs> the easiest way to, to teach it to you, we're going to go from heel palm, where he does a, a left roundhouse punch, steps to his left. Steps into your left foot. There you go. So he's going to come in like this, actually, just for the drill. Boom. We did like an hour. I want to put a stretch on there. I want to create some elastic recoil. Boom. I want to stretch all this out on. So I'm allowing that rubber band. Can you guys kind of see what's going on here? Um, I'm sure if we were able to look at the actual muscle, you could see that it stretches out and it releases. Okay, so when he comes in with a shot, and I'm going, oh shoot. Boom. I'm already ready to engage, and I can explode from there. Okay, um, and so you can see instead of coming here, boom, I'm just I'm gonna give him a good shot. But if I want to move fast and time it up, so maybe I want to get here. I want to be able to hit, stretch this out, and I'm also gonna create some more depth. So we're faster, we hit harder. Now we penetrate deep. Hard, hard weapons always go to soft targets. Uh, soft weapons always go to hard targets. From a more physics standpoint, when you hit, look at how much surface area I have on this target. If I concentrate it, that hurts. I'll probably bust a knuckle on it too. But I take this and I. But the thing is, I just, I just kind of slap it. But if you get that depth, that guy is going out for the chem specifically to go that way. Say I hit him this way. He starts to come down. And this is just cheeks. So maybe a body strike isn't your thing. It's just it's not your thing. When you use your elastic recoil, use these things. Boom. Use that. He's already going out. He's not even seen this coming. Let it look this way. 